Providence Woman 36 and I'm in another garden area that we have and this is some of our boxes that we did um, last year and as you can see it's really overgrown in this area we really neglected this this area um, and so now we're trying to play catch up and before it gets hot um, this is our pomegranate tree rose bush in here I, this year I planted some um, uh, sweet potatoes vines and hopefully they'll do well and then these are some that I had to cover up real good because we have a cat and the cat was coming in here digging around trying to you, you know go to the bathroom in here so I put these rocks in here to prevent her and she hasn't come back in here um, also um, these are some other boxes that I planted things in this is a mint plant that I'm gonna have to cut down and um, it'll come back next year but I'm gonna you know I've been picking the leaves off but I haven't but I have to prevent it from flowering so they're the flowers I'm just kind of picking those off and then um, this is our rosemary bush that I planted inside of here that I'm probably gonna dig up and put it in the ground and put something else in there um, this is our, our grapevine our grapevines up here tons of grapevines so yeah, I'm really pleased it looks like we're gonna have a good harvest of grapes this year um, this right here is uh, blackberries. I have blackberries, and which I really like. Um, this is a tree that we planted uh, five years ago, and unfortunately, we had severe rains last year, um, and because of that, it died. Uh, it was like a flood, hundred-year flood, and we had it. <laughs> so, anyhow, um, these are some of the great vines we had. I was going to use this here to hold up the grapevines but it just was not possible um, didn't work so we've got some cattle fencing that we're going to put up and um, uh, attach all the vines to the cattle fencing um, but this is our little grapevine patch that we have that's doing fantastic um, we have as you can see we have lots of work that's an apricot tree and uh, we got a lot of work to do so very pleased with uh, this um, garden area but you know then again look at that horrible ant bed we got tons of ant beds unfortunately um so that's about it oh we have a hugo culture here that we did um our version of a hugo culture and as you can see the big logs in there um they help keep we have really big logs inside of this hill but um we have some carrots and watermelons and zucchini and squash and pumpkins that are coming up and just other like herbs and stuff like that that's going to eventually come up and our goal is to really cover the ground completely with vines and so it smothers out the any weeds that would try to come in here if you notice we have the yellowing of some of the plants I think this is a weed do not think this is a does not look like a yeah I think that's a weed anyhow it's like hot not wanting to come out Oh, anyway, that is not, gosh, I can't tell. So that's the thing. Some of the weeds look so much like, um, I think that's corn, but I think this one, this one is corn. This one is a weed. See, See? that is not corn. Okay. So I'll just push it back in there. So anyway, this is our hugo culture. Um, I'll let you know. I'll do some some more videos, and so you can see what it looks like later on. So this is Providence Woman Thirty Six signing out, and I hope you're having having gardening success.